This still weed eater just came across my bench today and I thought what a perfect timing this is for me to show you guys this video. This thing has a sticky starter spring on it. Listen to this. If you can really listen closely when I retract this rope down slowly, listen to this. I hope you could hear that right there. That is a sticky starter spring. It's probably got a little bit of rust inside of there. It's dry. It needs to be lubricated. Let's do this one more time. You can hear that. Just, oh, that's bad. And look at that. Sometimes the rope won't actually even retract in all the way because it's so sticky. This doesn't just apply to weed eaters, you guys. <clears throat> it applies to all steel equipment that has this little plastic cap on it. There's a chainsaw. It's got that little plastic disc on there, the uh, uh, dust cover, um, easily removable. There's a blower, BG86 uh, blower right there, plastic cap on there. There's one of the new style weed eaters, an FS40. Same thing, it's got that little plastic disc on there. I'm gonna show you today how easy this is to do lubricate that thing you don't even need to take your starter off let's go welcome back to steve small engine saloon guys steve small saloon.com there's my website right there check it out when you get a chance got some clickable links up here for you in the information button as well stay tuned for the end of the video i got some clickable thumbnails there for you at the end to get you back to some other really awesome videos too what you need for doing this you need a can of lube spray you need a little flat screwdriver and uh oh yeah you also need a beer if this job takes you half of a beer to do this i would be surprised it's a quick easy fix to do on this um as a matter of fact it's so quick and easy I'm going to put this actually in my fast fix playlist. If you guys want to see with the other stuff I got in my fast fix playlist, I got a link up here for you again, the information button, as well as at the end of this video to get back to that playlist. So we're talking about this little disc right here, this little removable disc. A lot of guys don't even know that's removable. Check this out. You take a little flat screwdriver and you work it in around the edge like that and you can start popping that thing out. Now I do have to say, be careful about this. Be careful when you work around the edges like that to get it out and just pry along the edges. Don't just take a flat screwdriver and put it in there and just go snap like that because you can break that uh, disc, the little uh, clip that holds that disc in. You can break that. If that does happen to you guys, it's no big deal. Believe it or not, these little discs right here are actually a replaceable part. Once you get that off, um, and you did maybe break it, I know that sounded right, right there like I broke it, but I didn't, it just popped out. If you did break it, just take that disc into your local steel dealer. Uh, the model number's written right on it. If you broke it, I would suggest getting a new one. They're like two bucks, because they are actually a dust cover also that keeps dust from getting into your uh, starter spring to begin with. Once you got that disc off right there, you're going to see some little holes uh, around the outside right here like that. See those holes? If you had a flashlight and you looked in there, you can actually see the starter spring in there. Super easy to do. Right? I usually go in the top when I put a couple good blasts in the, in, the top, in the hole that's closest to the top. Blast it in there like that. Now it's draining down through that starter spring and you just got to exercise it now a little bit. As you pull that out and keep pulling it out, it's, it's moving that, that uh, lubricant around in there now and lubricating that spring. Now listen, listen to this now. I'm going to let that in again, really slowly. You can still hear it a little bit, but look at that. I mean, that snaps in way, way better than it did before. The more you use that, the more you exercise it, it goes in way, way easier. That's not making nearly as much noise as it did before. That's easy to do, you guys. 
so easy pop that cap back on there it just snaps back into place like that and there you go bob's your uncle fred's your aunt again i hope this helped you guys out give me that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel put some comments down right below this video tell me what you think share this with your friends till the next time guys see that not even half a beer steve out Yeah.